Hello, welcome to the Allen & Heath S-Class Rack Ultra Effects Card Installation Video Tutorial. This video covers installation in all S-Class mix racks except for the DM0. For DM0 installation, please follow the PDF guide on our website. Let's get started. When you first open the box, you'll first find a safety and regulatory information pamphlet. Next, you'll find a QR code that will take you to the latest version of the instructions on our website. You will also find screws, wire ties, a cable that we'll use as part of the procedure, and some stickers to designate the upgrade. Underneath these items, you will find the Rack Ultra Effects card itself. The tools you will need for this procedure are a T8 and T10 driver, an anti-static wrist strap, wire cutters, and the included materials. After first attaching the anti-static wrist strap to a ground point, you will need to remove T8 screws on the top, sides, and rear of the unit. Only remove the screws that are on the edges of the panels that connect to the top and rear panels. On the DM units, there are two additional on the top for the support bracket. Once the screws are removed, you should be able to reach under the top and rear panel. Start with the rear panel and gently pry it off to remove it. In order to leave the rear fan connected, we will need to lay the rear panel at the base of the unit and prop it up slightly to remove any strain on the cable. You can use the included anti-static foam or whatever you have handy that is soft. Next, remove the top panel, keeping in mind that it may be a tight fit. Now that we have the chassis exposed, we can remove the original effects engine card. This is mounted in slot C. We will first need to remove the two T10 screws that secure the card to the center support bracket. With the screws removed, we will now remove the original effects engine card. Gently move it side to side and lift it from its connection on the circuit board. Then set it aside. We can now install the Rack Ultra FX card. The card should be installed with the fan side facing the center of the mix rack and into card slot D. We suggest you start inserting the card diagonally, then rotate it into position. Pay close attention to the connection to make sure it is firmly in place. The way to check if it is seated properly is if you can see the screw holes through the center support bracket. With the card in place, open the included brown envelope and use the screws inside to secure the Rack Ultra Effects card to the center support bracket. Once the Rack Ultra Effects card is inserted, we can return the removed card back to its original slot. Pay attention to orientate the screw holes to face the rear of the chassis. Use the same method as before to start inserting the card diagonally, then rotate it into position. Pay close attention to the connection to make sure it is firmly in place. You should be able to see the screw holes through the center support bracket with this card as well. Replace the original T10 screws in their position to mount the card to the center support bracket. The next step is cabling. First is to disconnect this cable that is near the center of the unit. Press the latch in and lift. There isn't much clearance, so you may need a tool like a small screwdriver to lift it. Be careful not to pull the cable with the wires and only pull from the connector. Once disconnected, route the cable under the center support bracket to the Rack Ultra Effects card. Plug it into the port facing the center of the chassis. You'll notice the port and cable have a similar translucent plastic material. Orient the cable so the latch side is facing down, then firmly insert the cable into the port. If it is necessary, you can apply pressure to the other side of the Rack Ultra Effects card to allow the connector to fully seat in. The second wiring step is to take the included cable and connect the translucent plastic side to the center connection that we removed the first cable from. Rote the other side of the cable under the center support bracket to the Rack Ultra Effects card. Plug it into the white port facing the side of the chassis with the latch side of the cable facing the rear. If it is necessary, you can apply pressure to the other side of the card to allow the connector to fully seat in. After your cabling is complete, 
align the cables to a position where they will have minimal strain and use the included wire ties to secure them in place. Finally, it is time to complete the installation. First is to replace the rear chassis cover. It will be an exact fit, so some slight shifting may be needed. Make sure it is firmly in place and flush with the rest of the panels. Next, do the same for the top cover. Lastly, replace all T8 screws on the top, sides and rear of the unit. This concludes our Allen & Heath S-Class Rack Ultra Effects Card installation tutorial. If you have any questions, please contact our support team at support.allen-heath.com. Thank you for supporting Allen & Heath products.